Hello guys, welcome once again to this scholarship opportunity session. Um, before I proceed, I want to specially welcome our first time visitors. If you are visiting the channel for the first time or if you are viewing this channel for the first time, please do well to support us by subscribing to the channel. And to our returning subscribers, you are very much appreciated as a great part of this team. Thank you. Now, today's session is very loaded and the team has done extensive research about some varieties of schools um, ranging from undergraduate programs to master's programs to PhD programs. But the information is so loaded that if you decide to put all in this video, it's going to be extensive. Therefore, we have decided to pick on the important parts that will support you to begin your scholarship application journey. So if you are watching this session, if you are an undergraduate, if you are a master's or PhD, looking for an opportunity to travel to any European country, to, you know, other Asian countries to further your education, this is the right video for you. Today, we are going to have a look at six different scholarship opportunities in six different countries. Okay, ranging from America to Korea to Singapore, um, you know, different countries, different opportunities. So I want you to take your time to watch the video so that you can write down important bits so that you will know which of the opportunity is best for you. And as we always do it, after watching the video, if you think you find any of the opportunities suitable for you, I want you to comment, I'm interested. I'm interested so that the team can keep track of those who are pursuing these opportunities and we will offer you the necessary help as much as possible. Now, some of these schools offer free application fees. That's they don't take any application fees. Most of them, some also take, you know, um, um, some peanuts of application fees. Others also offer full scholarship opportunities. Some offer zero tuition fees. So, you know, it's different, different opportunities that we've um, inculcated into this video. So please take your time and let's journey along together. Now let's go to the screen to peruse whatever the opportunities are. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so um, this is the first school we are looking at. This is the Agency for Science, Technology and Research at Singapore. Now, this is one of the amazing um, science schools that any science student following us will be interested in. Okay, so um, they have two main opportunities here. The first opportunity, which is, which is very lucrative for PhD students. Okay, so we'll first look at that one, which is the Singapore International Graduate um, Award. Now, this scholarship is a collaboration between the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, that's ASTAR, and, you know, um, four other universities, as you can see, Nanyang Technological University, the National University of Singapore, the Singapore University of Technology and Design, and Singapore Management University. Now, this university have come together to offer this PhD opportunity. So if you know anyone or if you are watching us and you are interested in pursuing a PhD in any of the science-related fields, I would encourage you to share this video or forward it uh, to whoever you think will be interested. Now, the application for this particular scholarship is open, okay? And the application deadline for January 2025 intake is 1st June 2024. So I will leave the link in the description and you can check more on that. Now, the research areas for the PhD program are as follows. So each of the schools and their, you know, intake and their specialties. So these are the specialties, biomedical sciences, computer information sciences, 
engineering and technology and physical sciences and also the eligibility criteria is quite straightforward you need to it's open for all international graduates okay and uh, if you are in singapore you are not eligible you need to be able to speak and write english and also you need to have good academic references now one interesting thing about this scholarship is that there is no application fee there is no application fee and also um they don't ielts um english test score is not mandatory as far as as long as you're able to prove your english proficiencies they are good with that criteria now the coverage this scholarship is very lucrative up to four years phd program it will cover your tuition fees they will give you a monthly stipend of 2700 singapore um yeah dollars and um they'll give you airfare grant of 1500 and settlement allowance of 1000 okay and they've given a sum up of the cost of living in singapore which is estimated to be between 1400 and 2000 and the stipend is 2700 meaning that even after you spending you can still save for other purposes so the application procedure is here okay it's quite lots of information these are the um, uh, documents you need okay you need to have a research interest of course it's a research scholarship um, you need a valid passport a, pos a passport sized photograph and all your academic transcripts in english now the mandatory fields are your master's and bachelor's transcripts okay bachelor's and or master's academic transcripts that's if you are interested in if you are going for a phd study yeah you will need a master's transcript and if you are going for a master's study then you will need your bachelor's transcripts and these are other things they will need and here is it they said test is optional okay test is optional and they may be requested later by the university if they deemed necessary so guys i'll leave the link there are lots of information we cannot go through but i think we will just open the opportunity to you and if you are interested you just go for it so this is the singapore international graduates award for masters and phd now let's move on this is an part two of the same scholarship however this is like an internship opportunity so if we are schooling in any country and you want to have your internship um, in singapore they are open to that and they are going to sponsor that internship opportunity so this is the eligibility you can read through and the application process as well and the documents they will need from you again they will tell you test scores are not mandatory okay and um, you can only apply to the scholarship program at one time however you may apply to other scholarships offered by other organizations at the same time okay and there is no application fee so if you are interested in an internship as program as well you can just read more about it all right so i'll leave all the links with you and um yeah this is the internship opportunity you can read more about it now let's move on the second scholarship we are looking at is the queen elizabeth commonwealth scholarship now this scholarship is given to people to study in some selected middle income countries okay and the scholarship will cover um, all your tuition fees living allowance return economy flights to your country um one of arrival allowance and rich research support grant and the deadline for this scholarship is 24th may so if you are interested you need to start putting your things together now how to apply so you need to look through the list of countries that are on this scholarship and you need to choose which country and school you are interested in so as you can see on your screen these are the countries and the schools that are taking part in this scholarship so you need to look through and you apply to the school of your choice making sure you check the school's entry requirements 
eligibility criteria making sure you get admission to the school now after applying to the school of your choice you now come and apply for this scholarship so as you can see the apply um, link under each of the countries so you need to first apply to the school in that country you are interested in and after submitting your application you need to allow um, I think you need to allow up to one week so you need to make sure you you work with timelines so after applying to the school they will link your application to the scholarship and then you can apply for the scholarship the third one we are looking at is undergraduate scholarship in US University of Miami now this scholarship is for all international students who are beginning the academic journey from level one or level 100 and these english requirements are not mandatory i mean they are waivers so as you can see waiving english proficiency so these are the criteria you need to meet for your english requirement to be waived so you just need to look through to make sure you are eligible for and it's quite interesting actually because um they have several tests scores they are set including the um, commonly known duolingo which is easily accessible so guys if you are interested just comment leave a comment let's get interactive under the comment section just leave a comment i'm interested so that the team the team sorry can keep track of your progress now let's move on so one other thing again you know most of the u.s schools requires evaluation of academic credentials interestingly this particular school has given room for waivers so criteria for waiving evaluation and there are several criteria you can uh, be eligible for now in africa they have the west african senior certificate examination that's comprised of about five schools i know of ghana nigeria and some other schools so if you completed this examination you'll be eligible for the evaluation waiver the national Can examination council cameroon kenya all these are people or categories of groups are eligible for um evaluation waiver so if you completed any of those schools or if you meet any of these criteria you just apply for a waiver now these are the deadlines you know so it's november november so you have enough time to put your applications together and submit it before the november deadline now on the scholarship so this scholarship actually it's quite lucrative okay and you don't need a separate application for this scholarship now this scholarship is for undergraduate students those who want to study in first year undergraduate university of miami everyone who applies to the university of miami is considered for an academic scholarship there is no separate application this is very important you don't need a separate application um, for the scholarship so you apply to the school to the program of your choice then you will be considered however let me give you a tip so you need to indicate in your essays you need to demonstrate why you think this scholarship will benefit you you need to demonstrate in terms of academic wise you need to demonstrate in terms of financial difficulties and you need to link it to you need to check the school's core objectives then you need you need to create you need to create your essay to meet those objectives let them know that you are the suitable person for this scholarship you need to sell yourself so if you are interested just leave a comment i'm in interested and the team will keep track of your progress and also before we proceed don't forget to like the video you need to share for your friends colleagues uh, family and also you need to subscribe the, to the channel for its growth okay so this is university of miami undergraduate scholarship now let's look at the scholarship package so this is a premier scholarship the stamps scholarship this scholarship is the most prestigious merit award available to students at the university of miami this scholarship is awarded to exceptional 
and academically accomplished high school leavers. Now, this scholarship covers full course of attendance for the four years undergraduate program. It covers all your tuition fees, you know, on campus housing, meal plan, insurance, test books, and you'll be giving up to $12,000 enrichment fund as well. So, I mean, there are other scholarships which you are eligible, you may be eligible to apply. As you can see, it's um, scrolling on your screen. Okay, you just need to take time to have a look at which one you are eligible for. But our focus for this video is the STEM scholarship, which offers full tuition for all undergraduate programs wanting to enroll in University of Miami. So you need to check if you are interested. Now we will have a let's go to Asia, Korea. And um, this is the Korean Global Scholarship for Graduate Degrees. Now this scholarship is given annually by the Korean government. And this year, interestingly, 2024, they've announced a hoping 2200 students so 2200 international students will be given the opportunity to come to korea to study on a full scholarship in any program of their choice now let's have a look at certain fundamentals of this scholarship so as you can see this is the 2024 scholarship objectives of the scholarship and um, it's for masters and phd and if it's a research it could be six months or one year and also there are two ways you can apply for this scholarship through the embassy tracks or the university track so university track in the sense that you go to the university website website and apply or you go to the korean embassy in your country website and you apply for this scholarship okay so a total of 200 so they will give 800 through the embassy track and 1,400 through the university's track. So I'll leave this link so that you can check more. Now let's look at the package. Actually, I think it's, it's, we will have a look at the package in a minute, but let's, um, let's see if the other things we will benefit from here. Yeah, so these are the schools participating in the scholarship type A schools. We have 33 universities there. Okay. So you just need to go to the university websites. You can just copy and paste and you go to the university website and one thing is both applications are different so you need to apply to the university of your choice okay then you apply for the scholarship okay because the scholarship is different it's by the korean government so, but just that they are in partnership with the university so you apply to the university a korean university then you apply for the scholarship so they have 33 schools in under type a okay and 40 schools under type b so any school you think so let me give you a hint so if you if whatever your field are let's say if you are into fisheries or marine science you just type which school in south korea is best for marine science so that the schools that pops out you just look through the link if they are part of the partnering universities and you go to the school's website and apply now, these are the benefits of the scholarship, okay? So, they will give you an FA, okay, economy class. It will cover your full tuition. It will cover your Korean language training fee. And also, they will give you steady incentives as well. So, um, it's, it's, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, if you are interested, just leave a comment. I'm interested so that we can keep track on you as well. And these are other links you can check later on under the video description. Now, the next school we are looking at is also in the United States of America, which is the University of St. Thomas. Now, we will go straight to the scholarship. So this school actually is also offering scholarship and the application is quite straightforward, you know. There is no application fee. And as I always say, if there is no application fee, go ahead and apply because you don't know what will come out of it okay so now it says apply for free apply for free so there's no application fee and these are just the steps for the application you just look through you may be eligible for english proficiency waiver as well now there are scholarships 
when you go to the scholarship link they have filters as you can see on the far left hand side so you select international student and the scholarship type so let's say full tuition full tuition scholarship okay so you select that um the full tuition scholarship actually um, i think the the four is part so let's select the merit-based scholarship all right so merit-based they have 10 percent to 70 percent scholarship waivers for international students okay so let's select need-based so they have need base as well so you just need to check whichever one you are interested in but i think they have um the main focus here is the international scholarships which gives up to 70 percent tuition fee waiver so if you're able to get this you can apply for other scholarship opportunities that will help you um, further your education and remember you can also work as well uh, in the us so summit scholarship as well so this is also up to ten thousand you know so there are different scholarships and different amounts so you just need to apply to as many as you are eligible now the last school we are looking at is in the uk uk okay love borough development trust africa scholarship so this scholarship also is for international students it gives 100 100 percent tuition fees uh, for one year that's for the duration of the master's program okay so um as you can see the introduction this scholarship covers 100 percent of the course fees for your chosen postgraduate taught course for one year okay so i mean it's interesting this is the application process and the eligibility criteria you need to reside in africa you need to have good academic achievement and all that and the deadline is 14th of june so there is quite you know enough time for you to prepare your documents and submit your application now you need to submit application to the course so if successful if successful scholarship will be will cover 100 percent of the course fees for your chosen postgraduate course okay for one year so you need to apply to the course then you apply to the scholarship using this um, document so i'll leave the link so that you can just peruse so guys these are just quick successions of scholarships okay from the um, singapore science university to the queen elizabeth commonwealth scholarship to the miami undergraduate scholarship to the korean government scholarship okay and to the saint thomas scholarship as well and the last one is the Loughborough university in the uk so guys if you are interested just leave a comment i'm interested please don't forget to subscribe like the video and share for people to also benefit and we will see you with another beneficial videos in the subsequent hours remember leave a comment i'm interested and let's get going all the best for now and we will see you soon